Hi, I'm Ben Davis, and for my production project, I wrote Maggie. Uh, Maggie is about a man who's down on his luck, who finds a woman of his dreams in the most unlikely of circumstances. Uh, Maggie started basically as a short little sketch that I wrote just in my spare time, probably about a year ago, like last May. And then from there, like, I just told people about it. And then from there on, it was just like months and months of getting a script up to scratch. You go from the basic original script, which was literally just a five minute short, to what we ended up with. Um, it was, yeah, just months of um, lots of help from the script tutor, Joe, developing it developing the script to what we could put on the screen. During both like pre-production and production and post-production, uh, Josh, the director, was constantly like, you know, asking my involvement. And then again in um, post-production, when um, uh, Paddy and Steve were editing it, I was asked how I think the music should be and what I think the like, certain cuts, such as the montage, how things like that should look. So like, as a writer, I was, I was kind of a bit more involved than a writer should be, but I quite like I quite like, you know, it shows that they cared about my script and the opinions that I gave. You've not really got a choice when improving your communication, and you've, you've got to, if you want this to work, you have to communicate to your director, your producer, uh, your DOP. when I was on set, I was communicating constantly with the DOP. I had to negotiate with the script because there was a, a sp one scene in particular where um, Chris, who's Tom's best mate, like cheats on cheats on Tom with his hand, with Tom's hand. Um, I had like had to justify keeping that in because at first it was just seen as a uh, kind of cheap joke, cheap like laddie joke to put in. But um, basically, I just had to negotiate and like so, you know try and bring across that it was you know is a not only is it a defining moment in story, but it's a defining kind of character defect of both Chris and Maggie as well, like even though she's just a hand. I suppose when you're on set, you know, you've got a job, you know what it is, you just, you, you do it, you know, you've got a set, set of track, you just do a set of track. But as a writer, you know, you've got, it's a lot harder to kind of get yourself motivated for the job in hand Especially when you're kind of, I suppose you're getting writer's block and stuff like that. But there was there was a lot of like nights where I just stayed up late on my own, just coming up with ideas and different ways and typing, 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 delete, 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 just again and again and again, trying to find different ways for the story to work. During one of the pitching sessions, I got the script got. Absolute well script. I don't know. I felt a bit personally. Me got absolutely ripped and like torn to shreds. And then basically after that, I had to I had to evaluate, you know, what I wanted, both out of the script and out of this opportunity to make a film. If your if your script isn't ready, then either the film's not going to get made, or the film's going to get made to a not as high a standard as it could be. Constantly, we were having having meetings to discuss ideas for the script and ideas we could, that could help develop the script and the characters and turn into a funnier film. And so, like writing, I was, I was team working during my writing, and then on the production, I was team working with, with Anna, the gaffer, and uh, Tom Howen, the DOP, and basically the whole team like you know trying to get things together as the far as the project that is uh, Maggie is concerned I had to keep I mean the final draft I think it was draft eight so you like I had to keep constantly you know keeping the producer and the director 
informed on the latest draft of the script so that you don't get to the day of filming and you're thinking, well, why, what's happened to this shot? You know, this shot was in the script and I was like, I didn't know about this shot. Like, yeah, it's there, it's there in black and white. And you just, you know, if you don't want things like that happening, you just got to keep, keep on top of your planning. We had to um, take it from a short sketch into a, a 10 minute character driven with plot film. So um, I gave myself quite a big challenge from there. But I think it gave me a chance to just think creatively, think of a lot more like, scenes and jokes and more characters. So yeah, it was good. It was a good problem to have, one which I enjoyed solving. But, I mean, I remember when I first wrote it, it was straight away I went, oh, it was nice and sunny like it is now. I went out um, and told my flatmates about it straight away, and they were like, oh, yeah, it's a really funny story. Sounds like a good idea. And then I told Tom about it. And obviously being the lad, he was like, oh, how'd you, how'd you come up with that? Uh, yeah, and then I told everyone else about it, and it just snowballed and snowballed and snowballed. And, and then we get to May 2008, and it's upon the big screen. So that's entrepreneurship for you.